Hey, what's up, you moneymakers? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to report back on one of the penny stocks that we bought. Uh, we bought ABML, ticker symbol ABML, which is an OTC traded penny stocks, which does not really have a huge momentum at the moment in terms of the volume. But I, I have been sharing ABML for last few days and we bought it. And I also, uh, I also notified my Patreon group or my uh, private Discord that we have uh, at the moment and some other other uh, investors bought it as well and we are making 25% return on the investment just within two days. I want to share more information about at what price point we bought it, why did we buy it, why this stock is on my radar and also my Patreon group's radar and what can happen with this price point. One of the Patreon member already sold it at 25% uh, return which is I'm so happy for, uh, for the individual but I want to share why there is more potential for this particular stock. I'm not saying you buy or sell. I'm not a financial advisor, but definitely this stock is worth having on your radar because of a couple of catalysts that are coming up in nearer future. Now, let's take a look as to what has been happening with ABML. By the way, right now the stock is up 9.09%. In today's trading session, it did touch $2 price point and we bought it at $1.62 and I notified my Patreon group. If you would like to support the channel, you can join the Patreon group. It doesn't cost you a lot of money you can just recoup your investment within just one or two trades for the month and many months beyond uh, in future. So join the Patreon group that will help me uh, help this channel. That will be a huge, huge support. I have been sharing a lot of information and insights into my private Discord as well. And we have, we have a very small uh, participants, very small group, less than 10 people. So if you join, definitely you can share your thoughts and we can support each other. Now, if you want to support this channel, you can also click on the like button in this video that way we can reach to more this video can reach to more and more people and you can also subscribe so every single time i drop a new video you can get notified the patreon link is in the description below and if you would like to help out please help out i can get more uh, subscription get more premium account on some of the portals that i'm looking for uh, by the way of the support that you can you can you can give it to me now let's take a look we bought the stock at uh, one dollar and 62 cents let's take a for five days the stock is down 5.88 percent and as i always say for many penny stocks there are two things that we need to watch out for one is the red days whenever there is a red day the stocks tend to go down and the second one is the catalysts now what happened yesterday when we bought this stock at one dollar and 62 cents so i bought it at one dollar and 62 cents almost somewhere right here and from that price point it went all the way up to two dollars now it is almost 24 percent now i do believe that there is a lot of steam into the stock uh, we bought it for swing trade specifically because of some of the catalysts that are coming up for abml and someone in my patreon group already sold it for 20 plus percent maybe 25 percent i'm happy for them as well now let's take a look what's going on with the stock the stock is a pretty small market cap 1.1 billion the range is pretty volatile as well for 52 week range is eight cents up to four dollars and 90 cents one of the upcoming catalysts that that that, that is a definite catalyst is uh, they have the pi uh, pilot uh, pilot on the plant update that just came out this morning on july 8 8 30 a.m uh, what they are doing is they have mass grading permit approved final permit application anticipated prior to the beginning construction to be submitted very very soon as well so there is a definitely some of the good good potential that is coming up what happens with that the company confirmed that there is a mass grading permit for their lithium ion battery recycling pilot plant that was approved by the city of uh, Fernley, Nevada marking another step closer to the starting the construction now there is a lot more potential especially with the clean energy companies after this biden government that we have seen starting 2021 many stocks many clean energy stocks have got a lot and lots of momentum one of the other catalyst is upcoming participation on the conference american battery metal corporation to participate at alliance global partners metal and mining virtual conference on july 13 2021 what we have seen historically for many stocks including bngo chek 
many other pharma stocks when they participate into some sort of conferences they tend to get a lot more traction they also tend to share some of the information which is not publicly available what happens with that is a lot more investors attracted towards this types of uh, stocks and the companies that way they gain a lot more traction which is one of the catalysts that i am looking forward to that can trigger the price maybe in either direction so do your own due diligence i'm not a financial advisor one of the other catalysts that i want to share is one of the biggest catalysts by the way is american battery mail corporation filed an application to list on the nasdaq stock market that happened on may 20th 2021 so it has been five to six weeks and we are pretty close to hear back from the nasdaq team and or the stock uh, the company itself as to what happens to their nasdaq application what i particularly personally what i am thinking is the nasdaq application could be approved because the stock is consistently trading above one dollar level that meets the minimum price bid rule requirement the nasdaq has for one dollar and above so that's one of the things there could be a lot of bells and whistles that we don't really know but relatively the company can address them as they move forward now if this nasdaq application works out for this stock and if it if this stock gets listed on nasdaq it can spike up in no time maybe 50 percent tomorrow who knows but that's one of the big catalysts that i want to share with you now if you take a look at the stock particularly we are seeing the volume of 3.3 million in today's trading session against the average volume of 3.9 million so the volume went a little bit lower on the lower side but if you take a look at for last few days the volume has momentum before the volume was around 2 million 1.6 1.7 2.9 so on and so forth but now we saw on july 6th the volume is 8.9 million seventh was 4.2 million today we saw a little bit lower volume 3.3 million but the price traction is getting back now we saw that the stock was consistently trading about 2.25 or $2.13 so on and so forth which went down to $1.63 uh, today as low as $1.63. We bought it on July 6th I believe at $1.62 so we were quite honestly a little bit lucky because i was planning to buy it uh, at 1.65 $1.65 because of the technical analysis that i did but it dropped pretty drastically pretty quickly i bought it it went back up now many other people a couple of other people probably in my patreon or private discord they also bought it and some of them already sold it as well which is a great thing you should book the profit now when i see some of the comment oh this stock did not work out for us blah 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 I tend to think that there has to be an exit strategy for you as an investor. Now, many stocks I cover, including some of the CTRM, HCMC, there has to be an exit strategy. We bought IMMR, one of the great stock. We exited around $13 or $14. Right now, it is trading at $8.30, 35 cents. What I'm trying to say is it's still a great company. Fundamental has not changed. The stock is doing even better. The, the revenue went higher, but the stock price went lower there could be a few things as to why that has been happening but that's why you might want to join the patreon group and the private discord and we can talk more about it and i'm happy to share my thoughts uh more more frequently than doing the video now let's take a look as to what has been happening with this particular stock in terms of the price point if you take a look at the price point we saw a pretty good price action starting from two dollars and 49 cents right here it was making lower lows lower lows every single day it went to almost one dollar and 63 cents so from looking at two dollars and 49 cents it went all the way to one dollar and 63 cents so it was cut in one third almost not precisely but very close to one third now what that suggests is there could be either something that is not working out for the company or maybe just the stock price is lo uh, lower because of the lack of volume or some of other catalysts that they don't really have an update for which is why we bought it and we are at almost 23 24 percent return on the investment if you think it if I was able to sell it at $2 and I'm thinking it may get back to $2 or maybe about $2 tomorrow and we'll see what can be done with this particular stock. Now let's take a look further into what can happen in the upcoming future. Once again, the catalysts are virtual conference that is happening on July 13th. 
I have reached out to the company asking what is the status, what we should know, know as an investor on the NASDAQ listing, uh, the application that they have already going on because there is not enough information available in the public domain. I haven't heard back from them. I may decide to sell the stock because we bought it as a swing trade, but I just wanted to share this information with you, hoping you can make informed financial decision. Thanks guys for watching. Click on the like button if you haven't already. Click on the subscribe button as well and join the Patreon and help support the channel. You can also join the private Discord that comes with the Patreon. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. I'm going to share a couple of more penny stocks tomorrow that I'm looking into.